Welcome to Frugal Cruising, the frugal guide to cruising on a sailing boat in the UK. Last time on Frugal, we changed the prop, saving a few pounds here and there. In this episode, we take advantage of the fact Frugal is out of the water for 10 days, having a seacock professionally repaired, to patch up some minor rust spots on her cast iron keel. Well, good morning. Here you can see Frugal's keel where there's quite a lot of corrosion uh, since we took the boat out last time which was about uh, six or eight weeks ago uh, this has got considerably worse uh, look at these photos here we'll compare and contrast when we uh, edit this video together there's quite a lot of pitting and if I zoom in here you may be able to see that if the light's good enough and it's so uh, a greater area than we were expecting. Sorry about the shadow there. We uh, we bought some anti-foul to patch a small area. Uh, we may have just enough, but uh, yesterday we we went to the uh, DIY store, the hardware store, to to get some rust treatment for this cast iron keel, which we will apply some red oxide, and then we'll put some epoxy uh, primer uh, over it. And then a couple of coats of anti-foul. I'm not quite sure uh, whether this will do the job, uh, but it's worth a try given the the extent of the spitting, uh, which is really quite nasty and we weren't expecting. We also wonder if there's uh, some form of galvanic problem, so we're going to uh, drill and tap some holes and uh, add an anode to be on the safe side, but more about that later. Bye for now. So we had a full car of tools that we had previously thought we would need. A couple of hours later we had some red oxide, some two-part light epoxy primer by Hempel and some additional rollers and trays. We used a wire brush on the electric drill to remove the worst of the rust, but having done a little research we knew this surface preparation could have been done better. Shot blasting by a professional or using a hired needle gun ourselves followed by filling and fairing would be a much better approach. But on this occasion we did not have the time and after all this was supposed to be a minor repair. The red oxide rolled on okay but we had to be careful to avoid lifting the paint by over rolling it. The pits were mostly covered but reading the application instructions for the two-part primer, it was not clear that this would be compatible with the red oxide or not. Google research concluded two things. Red oxide does not make a noticeable difference to keel corrosion, and cast iron keels rust no matter what you do to them. Some more than others, with little rhyme or reason for the differences. Drilling the hole to be tapped for the anode was straightforward. Tapping with a good quality M8 tap was also straightforward until a member of the Frugal crew was a little overzealous and it snapped off. Another good sight for corrosion. It was all going so well. The tap was down through the hole and then snapped off. So we had to start again. Fortunately we had not bought the anode at the time and we found that on um, buying one we needed an M10 bar and tapped hold and the second try went very well, as you can see in the photo. Our next task was to mix and apply two or more layers of the two-part epoxy primer. This went very well and we were pleased after two coats. You can see uh, from these shots that the surface, although not prepared well prior to application of the primer, looked okay. After a few days where we left the epoxy primer to cure and uh, dodge the rain, now came the fun part, 
application of four coats of copper coat, uh, which is a copper powder in a water-based epoxy resin. Here you can see a crew member weighing out the two-part resin uh, and the hardener and then finally weighing out the copper powder that gives the uh, copper coat its uh, properties. We had three crew for this task, one mixing small quantities and two painting, which was more than adequate to uh, cover the small keel area. We could have probably done with one extra uh, as a minimum if we'd been um, painting the, uh, the hull. And now you can see the near final product. After two coats of copper coat and a few more days to cure, we burnished the surface, uh, added epoxy to the bottom of the keel and lifted Frugal back. <laughs> repair worked well or not.